Dear students, today we start very interesting chapter unit. This is probability. Probability, this is the starting from class 10. And probability in higher class, also we have probability. And this probability is very essential uh, for uh, in our life. So, probability before discussing probability first you have to know random experiment now what is random experiment random experiment means an experiment we know all the results but we can't determine advancedly we know the whole family members but we can't determine this will be our answer suppose if we tossing a coin a coin has two results hat and tail we know both the results, but we can't say this must be head, this must be tail. And if we throw a die, a die has six results, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we throw a die, we know all the results, but we can't determine the end. Sometimes it may be happen. We want six, then we get six, but we can't sure this because this will become six or one or two so this is called random experiment we know whole family members but we can't determine advancedly so first we consider the definition of random experiment random experiment random experiment So, random experiment, we want to write the definition, an experiment an experiment in which in which all possible all possible outcomes outcomes means result all possible outcomes are known are known but uh, all possible outcomes are known and and the exact all possible outcomes are known and exact outcomes exact outcomes cannot be predicted advanced outcome cannot be pre predicted in advance predicted in predicted in advance is called is called a random experiment An experiment in which all possible outcomes are known and the exact outcomes cannot be predicted in advance is called a random experiment. We know whole family members but we can't determine advancedly. So this is called random experiment. So this is the starting of probability. Now we consider sample space. Another definition is sample space. Sample space. Sample space. Now what is sample space? Sample space means 
in an experiment we collect all the results and we construct a set this set is called sample space how many possible outcomes in an experiment we collect all the possible outcomes and we construct a set this is called sample space now if we consider if we tossing a coin a coin has two results hat and tail so by the help of hat and tail we construct a set this is called sample space so sample space the collection collection of all possible outcomes the collection of all possible outcomes in a random experiment the collection of all possible outcomes in a random experiment is called a sample space all possible outcomes in a random experiment is called is called the sample space this is the sample space the collection of all possible outcomes in a random experiment is called the sample space suppose if we tossing a coin a coin has two results only hat and tail so we collect both the results no one is left so this is called sample space now if we tossing two coins then we have s is s t t is t t then we collect all the family members we construct this set this is called sample space and sample space it is denoted by s the collection of all possible outcomes in a random experiment is called the sample space it is denoted by s this letter s so this is our sample space if we tossing three coins then the sample space will be hat 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 tail hat tail hat tail hat hat and is t t t is t t t is t t t so how many results we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so we have eight outcomes and all the outcomes we collect and we get this is the sample space now what is the technique to write this suppose one coin we know one coin simple hat and tail this is hat and tail and if we consider two coins then multiplying this result by s and this result multiplying by t then we get this again we want to write three coins what is the sample space this result multiplying by s and multiplying by t we get this if you consider four coins then all the results we multiplying by s and multiplying by t we get four coins now what is the how many outcomes we have total outcomes we don't know suppose a coin has two results this is 2 to the power n one coin that means 2 to the power 1 this is 2 two coins then 2 to the power n equal to 2 this is 4 it has four results then three coins then 2 to the power 3 it has eight results so this is three coins 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and four coins this is 2 to the power 4 this is 16 so we can find in this way so the technique is if four coins given then this will be difficult to write you multiplying this result by s and whole results all the results by t we get four coins so these are sample space 
now if we throw a die a die has six results one two three four five six this is our sample space so sample space clear that means how many results outcomes means result how many results in a uh, random experiment we collect all the possible outcomes then we construct a set this is called sample space now we consider next definition is event event now event means suppose uh, suppose uh, s is a sample space uh, we consider hat and tail if we tossing a coin we get hand and tail we construct a set this is h another set this is t so both are subset of s this h belongs to here so a is called subset of s t is also belongs to here then t is b is subset of s so that means a and b both are subset of s a and b are called events events means an event is a subset of a sample space all the here the family member a is here t also here that means a is called event b is called event why called event a subset s b subset s so these two are called event so we want to write the definition an event is a subset of a sample space an event is a subset of a sample space next we consider equally equally likely events equally likely events equally likely events means their chance are equal suppose if we tossing a coin a coin has two results hat and tail hat chance is half tail chance is half their chances are same clear if we tossing a coin it has two results hat and tail the chance of getting a hat and getting a chance equal so this is called equally likely now we consider a definition a given a given number of a given number of events are said to be a given number of a given number of events are said to be equally 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 likely events equally likely if if none of them if none of them is expected if none of them is expected to occur to occur in preference none of them uh, none of them is expected to occur in preference preference to the others so that means their chances are equal so this is our equally likely event so if we throw a die a die has six results so in this six result their chances are same that means getting a number one 
then 1 by 6 getting a number 2 then this is also uh, 1 by 6 their chances are equal so this is called equally likely events next we consider a uh, sure or certain event next we consider sure or certain event sure event means suppose uh, if we throw a die suppose our requirement a number less than 7 less than 7 means at let me list up to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 we surely get any number in this experiment so this is sure or certain event so this is called sure event or certain event that means we want to have uh, uh, we want a number uh, if we throw a die it has six results we want a number this is less than 7 less than 7 in a die it takes this result 1 2 3 4 5 6 so less than 7 means we get up to 1 2 6 these are called sure we surely get a result so these are this is called sure or certain even so next you consider another example uh, impossible event impossible impossible event impossible event means uh, which is not possible for us now if we consider impossible event means a die has six result but you want a number greater than six greater than six no numbers uh, a die has six results one two three four five six but we want greater than six greater than six means no results in an experiment if we throw a die a die has only six results so uh, this is called impossible suppose if we tossing a coin we want five is a coin has only two results five is is impossible which is not possible in an experiment if it tossing a coin a coin has only two results head and tail but we want six head or six tail which is not possible this is called impossible event so impossible which is not possible and certain means which is possible so next we consider favorable outcomes now what is favorable outcomes Favorable outcomes means one experiment given. In this experiment, we want some result. Now, how many results in our favor? This is called favorable outcomes. Suppose uh, if we throw a die, a die has six results: one, two, three, four, five, six. So we consider let E B N event of getting an odd number let e be an event of getting an odd number so e the set e will be odd number how many odd numbers one three five so one three five so among six results these three results in our favor so this is called favorable outcomes so favorable outcomes is three so favorable outcomes equal to three so total outcomes six these three results in our favor so favorable outcomes three now we consider another event let a be an event of getting a number which is which is more than 
फोर लेट ए बी एन इवेंट अफ गेटिंग ए नम्बर हुईच इज मोर देन फोर इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट नॉट अदार एक्सपेरिमेंट सो गेटिंग ए नम्बर हुईच इज मोर देन फोर सो डेट मीन्स ए उल बी मोर देन फोर मीन्स ओनलि फाइव एंड सिक्स इफ इट थ्रो ए डाई उइ गेट ओनलि फाइव एंड सिक्स सो एमंग सिक्स रिजल्ट दिस टू रिजल्ट इन आवर फेभार सो दिस इज कल व्हाट फेभारेबल आउटकम्स दिस इज कल फेभारेबल आउटकम्स दे आर फोर फेभारेबल आउटकम्स इक्वल टू टू हेयर उइ हेव टू फेभारेबल आउटकम्स हेयर उइ हेव थ्री फेभारेबल सो फेभारेबल आउटकम्स क्लियर जस्ट some results are given in an experiment we want some results particular results how many results in our favor this is called favorable outcomes now we consider the definition of probability so this definition is called theoretical or classical definition probability of an event e number of outcomes favorable to e number of all possible outcomes of the experiment so favorable by total this is called probability this is our probability so how many results in our favor and how many total results favorable by total this is called probability suppose if we tossing a coin a coin has two results suppose you want a hat so we so uh, s is a sample space only hat and tail we have if we tossing a coin so we consider let e be an event of getting a hat let e be an event of getting a hat so e equal to only one hat we have in this experiment because a coin has two results only one hat we have so we want to write probability of e how many results in our favor among two results only one result in our favor this is one and how many total results two they are one by two so this very simple problem uh, e b an event of getting a hat this is e equal to a among two results only one result in our favor so one in numerator and denominator is total number so this is our probability oh so next video we will discuss whole exercise so i think the this things are clear so before solving some problems we have to know the basic knowledge some students don't know what is sample space what is event without knowledge of this we can't understand the exercise so for solving exercise we must know these definitions probability definition sample space event sure event impossible event all of this we have to know in class 10 these simple things are given in higher class there are different uh, things are given random number we have random number one exercise is given random number binomial distribution there are different topics are given there so i think the this lecture is if you like this lecture if you do, uh, if you are like this lecture then please like this video and if you are new in my channel then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also thank you